This video includes an overview of the entire neuro cervical package and detailed setup instruction for the clear access table base, supine platform and pad or flat top, cranial stabilization adapter and rope traction device. This setup is often used for anterior spine surgery procedures, such as anterior cervical disc fusion, ACDF procedures, with rope traction. The Clear Access Spine Surgery Table by OR Safety was developed to maintain all of the utility of competitive spine tables that are generically referred to as Jackson tables, while removing all of the notable drawbacks of those types of systems. The table maintains head-to-toe C-arm access for lateral, anterior, and posterior spine procedures and can support the simultaneous use of two C-arms. While maintaining such unrestricted C-arm access and providing target site radiolucency, the clear access table has a safe working load of 600 pounds and has a noticeably more stable operating surface, particularly for heavier patients. Without outboard wheels, the table allows shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder docking with the gurney, which facilitates safe patient transfer onto and off of the operating platform. Finally, and perhaps most notably, there are no towers at the head or foot end, completely removing the need for T-pins and allowing anesthesia direct access to the patient's head and airway. Notice that without outboard wheels and towers, the clear access table has a dramatically smaller footprint than the competitive systems. A small footprint has been shown to be a significant benefit in the increasingly crowded ORs, hallways and storage areas of most facilities. Specifically, Jackson-style tables commonly occupy more than 26 square feet of space, while the clear access footprint is less than 12 square feet. Importantly, the clear access table is the only spine table on the market that has three preset configurations, each configuration organized in response to customer feedback and intended to deliver the right amount of equipment to fit specific types of clinical practices. The ASC solution is configured to support practices dedicated to outpatient spine procedures and interventional pain management. The new standard is configured for hospital-based spine practices and can support anterior, posterior and lateral spine procedures. The neurocervical configuration supports practices that include brain surgery and posterior cervical procedures requiring cranial stabilization. In this video, we will highlight the clear access neuro cervical configuration. This is the most broadly capable version of the clear access table. It will support anterior, posterior and lateral spine procedures and with the use of the cranial stabilization system can support brain surgery or cervical spine procedures that require cranial stabilization. Like the new standard configuration, the neuro cervical configuration begins with the clear access table base and two tabletops the supine platform or flat top and the prone platform or open top. The neurocervical configuration includes the clear access head support, multi-directional arm boards, the flex frame spine frame and leg management system. Importantly, the neurocervical configuration also includes the OR safety cranial stabilization adapter and rope traction device. The cranial stabilization adapter is compatible with the base units of most cranial stabilization systems including Mayfield and Doro. The rope traction device can be installed into the cranial stabilization adapter and is most commonly used for ACDF procedures. When the table is arranged correctly with the supine platform, the supine pad, the cranial stabilization adapter and rope traction device, the clear access table supports anterior cervical disc fusion, ACDF procedures with rope traction. Alternatively, ACDF procedures may be performed with a Mayfield horseshoe headrest via the cranial stabilization adapter. Let's review the correct setup of the clear access table and equipment necessary for ACDF procedures with rope traction. Move the clear access table to the preferred location in the OR. To lock the table to the floor, press any button on the hand controller to wake it. Both hand controllers will auto-sleep if inactive for 30 seconds. Press any button to reactivate and then lock the table by pressing the wheels button firmly once and releasing. You'll note an audible beep as the table is lowered to the ground, warning caregivers to keep personnel and equipment clear of the table. If the supine platform is not already installed on the clear access table, it's likely that the prone platform, the open top, is in place. If this is the case, 
Remove the prone platform with the help of another team member by grasping the silver handles at both ends of the table. Extend the handles by pulling outward, then lift and remove the prone platform from the clear access table base. Next, install the supine platform or flat top onto the table. To do this, bring the supine platform over the table and lower it carefully into the cradle. Once the supine platform is completely seated, depress both thumb releases at each end of the table to collapse the handles into the platform. Collapsing the handle at the foot end locks the supine platform into the base. To conduct ACDF procedures utilizing rope traction, it'll be necessary to install the cranial stabilization adapter and rope traction device. Begin by grasping the handle at the head end and pulling outward until it clicks in place. Verify that it's locked in the extended position by pushing inward. Next, install the cranial stabilization adapter by bringing the adapter underneath and lifting upward to engage both the handle and the stabilization bar in the appropriate grooves of the cranial stabilization adapter. Lock the adapter onto the handle by firmly hand tightening the large locking knob on the bottom of the adapter. Verify that the system is firmly locked by pulling on the components to ensure no movement. Next, install the rope traction device into the cranial stabilization adapter by sliding the bottom of the device into the rope traction slot. Once the device is fully inserted into the adapter, hand tighten the rope traction retaining knob. Verify that the device has been adequately retained by lifting upward on the rope traction device. Note that the angle of traction can now be adjusted by fully depressing the 11-point angle adjustment mechanism at the bottom of the rope traction device. Once the adjustment button has been fully depressed, adjust the angle of traction as necessary and release the button. This rope traction system is rated to 100 pounds of traction. To provide adequate C-arm access for ACDF imaging, fully cantilever the table. First, wake either hand controller by pressing any button. Once activated, press and hold the cantilever button until the table stops moving. The tabletop will travel 24 inches toward the head end. Note that the cantilever button must be continually pressed throughout the movement of the tabletop. Once the patient has been positioned on the table, use patient restraint straps to secure the patient to the table before draping and preparation for surgery. Use head halter and supine cervical traction systems in accordance with the instructions for use of those systems. Please refer to the clear access instructions for use with any further questions.